Hi, this is Tom Searsu with The 1% Difference, and this week I want to talk about unmasking the smiling eel. If you've read my uh, books or if you've listened to my materials before, you know what an eel is. Every deal has an eel. Every deal has an eel. An eel is someone who's either passively or actively against doing the deal between your company and another company. Now, they may not be against you as a hostile relationship issue. They may like you. They may think that you're good as a company and, and it may even be the right idea for their company to start working with you. They just don't necessarily believe that we should do it right now. See, eels set the speed and the scope of the initial purchase and the implementation scale. That's right, eels set the speed. It's not your executive sponsor who makes it go faster. And it's not your executive sponsor who sets how big it is. It's the eel who scares everybody and says, I don't know if we should do this right now. I don't know if we should go that big. I don't know if we should move this fast. So we've got to figure out, first and foremost, for us to be able to take the fear of the eel off the table and to minimize their impact in the conversation, we need to know who the eel is. So I'm going to give you a couple of tools, some questions that you can ask to your executive sponsor in the process. And by doing that, you'll have a better idea who your eel really is. So number one, ask this question. Uh, who is the most resistant or least interested in this going forward? This going forward, of course, is hiring your company or working with you or buying from your uh, business. So you want to ask, who is that? Who is the person who is the least interested or most resistant? That gives you from your executive sponsor an idea clearly of who that eel is if they are hostile. Now what if they're passively aggressive? Maybe you don't have a clarity of understanding that they really don't want to do this. Maybe they kind of want to do this but they're a little nervous and etc. Ask this question. Number two, where do you anticipate implementing this program and that it's going to get bogged down or that it's going to take the most energy? Where do you anticipate, imp uh, anticipate implementing this program that it's going to get bogged down or take the most energy? See, your executive sponsor has tried to implement and try to move things through his or her organization before. You're not their first rodeo, which means that they know where it's going to get bogged down. They know what's going to happen along the way, and they probably know who's going to get in the way. By knowing who that is, you can invite them in. You can probably start to frame out what their fears are and see if you can't take those off the table. Third question. Ask this question, what initiative is on each of the buyer's table members plate that might get in the way of getting this done? See, you're not just competing against your competitor. You may be lost with the idea the fact is that you're competing against their already busy calendar, their already busy uh, initiative list, their already busy day. So if that's the case, you've got to figure out what is it that one buyer's table member or another buyer's table member might throw in front of getting this done saying, I can't get that done until this happens, that happens, or the other thing. If you don't ask those questions and don't find out what that is, you're going to be fighting against those circumstances, except you won't know it. You won't know who has it. You won't know how to take their fears away. You won't know how to help them. And both sides will lose. So for you to win with eels, you have to unmask that masked eel. And to do that, you got to ask the right questions. Until we get a chance to talk again, go out and make the 1% difference. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button down below and the bell. And that way we'll let you know every time there are new videos that are out there. And you can also visit our website below.